It is always a treat when Brian Voltaggio comes into our studio. Time to dine this morning. Owner of Vault on Top Chef. You're very fancy. Well, thank you. Yeah, people fancy are always yourself. excited when you come in. I don't know. You've got the nice pots, the pans. and What are you making? I don't, I've never even heard of such a thing. Um, we're doing some braised pork belly, and it's going to be served with lentils. Okay. Lentils are supposed to bring good fortune in the new year. Yeah. They're supposed to because they look like coins. Let's see. So Let's take a it's look. It's an old Italian myth. And these are beluga lentils. They actually um, resemble beluga caviar. They're very small. So we're going to go really fancy. Okay, we're thinking I like caviar, that. We're thinking a lot of money. It's the new year, year, right? Mm -hmm. And there's that that giant Mega Millions jackpot. Exactly. Okay, so this is everything that you need to make, and I take it this is the pork belly. Uh, it is. This is the pork belly. Okay. And All right. So what we'll do is we'll take this over here. Okay. And I have a pan here that we're going to start. We're going to heat up. Uh, but first, we want to make sure that we trim the pork belly. Okay. All right, so walk me through that. How important right. is this? Well, I mean, it depends on how much fat you want to have on the outside of it. Okay. So just trim off just a little bit, and we're okay. going to season it with a little bit of salt. Now tell me, because pork, along with lentils, there's a significance in cooking this and eating it on New Year's Day. There is, and there's a lot of myth that actually pork should be the first thing that passes over your palate after the New Year. Okay. So Why is that? That part I'm not quite sure. It's supposed to bring good fortune. Yeah, as I well. did. I did read somewhere. I don't know luck. if this is true, but pigs always have their nose to the ground. Right. So maybe that's how you're supposed to be in the new year. I don't know. Maybe. All right. So, um, pork belly. If you're looking for it in the store, you want to find something that's uh, you know skinless. Uh, ask your butcher to give you about a two-pound piece for this okay. recipe. Um, you're looking for something that has a good amount of meat to fat ratio. Great. Um, and we're going to render off a little bit once we get started. Okay. So. Well, let's get started. Got to fire up that stove. Yeah. There so, we go. So we start with medium heat, but you know, actually, also, I already have pork working right now in the pressure cooker because it takes about an hour and a half. Okay. So this is one of those things where you just want to prepare ahead of time. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it's something you could do, you know, as you're entertaining and, and so forth. And talking about the ingredients a little bit, though, too, while it's heating up, um, I also have some hay. Timothy. Yeah, what is that? It's Timothy hay. It's actually what you would feed a rabbit. You pick it up at your pet store. So is this for, find like, to make stuff. the plate good looking, or can you actually no, eat that? we're smoking some carrots. Oh, with the hay. So this is going to add the smoked element to the bacon that we're making, because this is fresh pork belly. Okay, nice. And we also have some caramelized uh, turnips that so we're going to add some pearl onions to. That looks gorgeous. Uh, How'd you do that? bouncing around. That's all right. But, um... How did I do that? Yeah. Uh, some honey, vinegar, and a little bit of vegetable stock. Okay, great. And we do set down just to glaze the turnips, and what we'll do is I'll put this up so actually everybody can see. Perfect. And when you're smoking something, how do you make sure you don't set it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you've been in my you kitchen, you would know that's a normal question. Where there's an aroma, um, you know, of the smoke, and that way uh, it, it, you'll start to see the smoke generate in the pan, and okay. then once that happens, it's probably safe to turn it down. Nice. Okay. Add your carrots. Gotcha. So we're starting to sear our pork belly. I already have some finish in the pressure cooker. Uh, obviously, you want to be very careful when you're releasing the, the valve that, you know, it's it's safe to, to open up. Yeah, no kidding. But you can see I have the finished ah. pork in here. And this is what it should look like. This is what it should look like when it's done. That's and the liquid that's here, we're going to strain that off. Okay. Add it to a small pan. All right. Is there a way to... Do, I mean, do you need to, you know how, well, or just make sure that this is cooked all the way or just based um, on how it looks? Fork tender. Okay, so basically, gotcha. if you stick a fork into it, it's nice and tender and the meat is pulling apart, you know it's done. All right. Um, guaranteed an hour at the most. I said an hour and a half, hour at the most, it should be ready. Okay. What do you have That's there? 10 PSI. This is, um, this is a little bit of mustard. We're going to finish mm. our sauce with that. Okay. What's your favorite part of this whole meal? Uh, the pork. The pork. Yes, absolutely. All right, so we've we'll got about a minute get, left. Yeah, so let's go to the plated dish then. Okay. Now, you we'll guys are packed pork. tonight. Is this on the menu? Um, something similar. We, okay. we always have a pork belly dish on the menu. I don't want you to try this. We gotta, I gotta uh, yeah, up. I know. Hustle up there. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I will. We can do this. No, I know. Um, as far as the menu goes, anything exciting in the new year for you? Um, exciting new year. Uh, working on a book, a couple other little things. We'll, we'll see. Here Any more shots at a reality show again? Or? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, I'm not on, on the current one, so <laughs> I don't know if you notice it or not. But um, I don't know. We'll see. You never know. Well, you're certainly our top chef here in Maryland. So well, thank you. You're welcome. We you had some of these carrots. All right. See, this is perfect. This is prepared just in time for us to go to a commercial break, and I can try it out. Brian Voltaggio from Volt in Frederick. Of course, if you want more information, head to abc2news.com or give them your website. It's a beautiful uh, it's website.
All right, we'll be back after this. Okay, done.